Hey guys, I'm back with another one of my collectibles. Uh, today I have my masterpiece, uh, Transformers Masterpiece Rodimus. This is the Hasbro version. Uh, let's go ahead and let's take a look at him. I'm just going to move the box aside here. All right. Uh, first of all, he comes with um, a little uh, mini comp figure. This is uh, offshoot, I believe, and a uh, pretty pretty nice figure. Uh, let me see if I can get him in focus here. There you go. A little cool dude. Um, you know, um, <clears throat> he actually does, I believe, transform into another part of his gun. Um, but uh, he's a pretty cool little little guy um, as a mini con. Let's put him aside here. <clears throat> and let's take a look at Rodimus. Let's get Rodimus in focus here. Let me uh, bring him up a little bit closer here so we can take a look at all the goodness. So here is Rodimus. Here's is the Hasbro version of Rodimus. So I'm just going to pan down here just to show you him here. Hey, let me just move him a little bit closer here. Pretty cool figure. A lot of nice colors. He's got die cast in his feet. Um, you know, he's, uh, <clears throat> he's a really nice figure for display. Um, he's got this uh, awesome gun. Real, real nice blaster. He's got chrome. Now, the Hazard version didn't actually come with a trailer, but uh, still, like I said, still a very, very nice um, figure. Um, let's turn around the back side here. Yeah, so I mean, he's got chrome, he's got rubber tires. Um, you know, he just um, he just doesn't actually have the trailer. The the Takara version actually does have the uh, the actual trailer, um, but. Um, the Hasbro version did not come with a trailer, but uh, all in all, uh, I like the figure. Um, he's got a pretty nice, pretty nice face sculpt there. Let's uh, kind of zoom in here. So there's his, uh, there's his head sculpt there. Um, pretty nice. Um, <clears throat> there has been reports of. Um, He's a little bit finicky to transform. I know the Takara version had a lot of issues uh, with transforming him. Um, I've never actually transformed him, so I'm really not too sure. Um, this is pretty much the extent of what I've done, is just put his arms kind of up and down. Um, but uh, let me go ahead and take out his blaster. See, the, see his blaster up close there. Okay. And uh, so there you go. Uh, there is Rodimus, a pretty nice figure. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll put him in the background here, off with his little little guy uh, offshoot there. Um, he's a little bit tough to stand up on this uh, on this table platform here, but well, oh well, we'll just let him sit down there. As far as the box concerned, you get uh, one of these Hasbro style boxes. <laughs> Um, another Toys R Us exclusive. Um, you get a bunch of artwork on the back, um, and uh, just uh, you know, it's an okay box. I mean, I'm not like I said, I'm not really a big fan of these uh, these trapezoid style boxes. Um, <clears throat> I would rather prefer uh, getting the the standard traditional uh, box that uh, or the square boxes that they the rectangle boxes they've been doing um, for the. The newer releases, uh, all of these these older releases, um, <clears throat> I believe uh, he came out and I think he was I think Rodimus came out around 2010, um, around that time time frame. Um, but uh, yeah, there you go. This is a Toys R Us exclusive back in 2009 2010, I believe. And uh, so there is the Hasbro version of Rodimus. Um, so there you go, guys. Uh, keep coming back to watch some of my other videos uh, for my collection. Thanks, everyone.